Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX! Let's hitch a ride on the Gargant here. Basically, all you gotta do is, well now we have to do it manually. You have to actually get the plant, feed it to the Gargant, and then ride on its head! I, I don't know how that works, but there we go. Last time we had to flip a switch, which like automatically dropped the plant down to the Gargant, and then we got to ride on the boat there, but this one is... I don't know what the word is for untrained. Feral? Would that be the correct word? I don't know. But anyway, now that we've ridden the Gargan over here, we found the excavation site. All right. Well, this looks like a nice area. Let's check it out. Hey, how's it going? Oh, they got some hidden treasure around here. Okay. Where can I find that? Oh, no, no, I mean, I'm a thief, but I just want to find a way to uh, break on through to the other side. The Outer Continent. Wow. Yeah, this place is a little bit of a maze, but uh, we'll, we'll find it. We'll find it. Oh, okay. Yeah, this guy's going to tell us how to ride the Gargant around this maze of a dungeon here. So I'll just uh, go through the text rather quickly because I'm going to explain it anyway. But yeah, we got these switches and waterways and everything that we got to flip around in order to get to the right place. So, it's not nearly as complicated as it sounds. I mean, maybe the first time we play the game, but after that, it should be fine. Okay, thanks for the information, buddy. Down here... Hey! It's Stiltskin! He's alive! Oh. Well, apparently everyone survived Clara. Or everyone I cared about. Sure, why not? Yeah, make sure to buy Stiltskin's items here. That's pretty important. All right, there we go. Yeah, really, man. How's it going? Got any letters for me? No. Okay. Huh? Well, he has a letter from someone else. Oh, how'd you get that behind that wall? Put the candle back. Oh, anything else? No, no, not yet. Okay. Actually, uh, after that battle, I suddenly realized, you know, I might want to restore my MP. There might come a time when I actually do want to uh, uh, use my summons and magic and everything. Besides, I mean, tents you can just easily throw away. So now, in order to ride the gargant, do the same thing as before. Does gargant have insect wings on its back? Huh. But anyway, yeah, let's ride it over here. Now keep an eye on the map there. You see the yellow dots there? That's the path that we are on. There's some gray dots there. That is not the path that we are on. I'll explain more about that on the way back. But anyway, for, on this path, we find the fairy earrings. Well, it's a bit too late on that, but... Uh, well, I suppose if you didn't have the money at the auction house, that's where you get it. Probably want to teach it to... Uh, let's see. If you haven't taught it to anyone yet, probably Kina, Dagger, then Vivi, then Zidane in that order of preference. But anyway, um, you see how there's water in the background there on that other path? That's what's keeping the Gargant from going on that other path. Gargants are, I guess, afraid of water. So what you have to do is flip the switch. Uh, let's see if I can show it to you. Okay, you see the switch on the right side there? We gotta find a way to get up there. Flip the switch, that'll change uh, where the water is going, or the current of the water. And then, all we gotta do is get back on that path there, and the Gargant will take the other path, because it'll be open now. So that's basically how we're gonna get around here. Pretty much. Feed plants, and uh, move water around. Yeah, you see how there's water on the right side of the screen there? We can't go there yet. So let's find a way to get that water to go somewhere else. Ah, there we go. Huh, easy enough. I like how they show it on the map there, too. That's a nice touch. Yeah, you thought Final Fantasy X was the first game to show off mini-maps like that to get through an area. Uh, back when maps could be displayed with little tiny dots on them. Well, I suppose they sort of did that in the Seventh Saga, but uh, <laughs> that really does not count. No, I'm not planning on making an LP of that game. Holy cow. You thought Dragon Warrior 2 was hard, viewers? 
You gotta play the Seventh Saga. Yeah, I played that game too back in the day. It's just one of those games, you know, advertised by Nintendo Power. You know, you gotta play it. Okay, well, after that battle, uh, well, Dagger finished working on Peridot. Uh, normally, Kina's done with the Reflect Ring by now, but, uh, well, he's not yet, so. I do want her to work on the Reflect Ring next, but until then, let's get rid of the Barat. And I'm not gonna finish off the Barat. I'm just going to work on something until well, something else comes up. Haha! -ha! There we go. Flip the switch! Okay. So, uh, now let's get back there. And another thing. Now, some people were asking me, H.C. Bailey, I noticed she got a Peridot from one of those griffins there. That's the monster I was just fighting there. Let's see. There we go. Uh, can you use that Peridot to learn Ramu? Yes, you can. It's the exact same thing that Ramu gave to you. Uh, the thing is, though, uh, or bro, the interesting thing about Ramu, or those jewels there, is that the more of them that you get, the more powerful your summon is. And later in the game, we'll be able to synthesize them so we can make as much as we want for our favorite summon, or summons, if you have enough. So make sure to collect all those ores, viewers, because uh, that's what you use to synthesize them. You're basically synthesizing ore with some other commonly bought item, so it's pretty easy to get whatever you want. Okay, so now that we're back over here, let's get back to the first path that we were on. Hey guys, how's it going? Thanks for telling me about the Switch. Even though I skimmed, kind of skimmed through your tutorial, but I figured it out on my own. Yeah, you see, it's pretty simple. Don't flip the switch, go on this path. Come back, then flip the switch, go on the other path, flip the switch, come back a couple paths, you know, and now we go up here. There's not really that many options. It's not like, like a Metroid game or something like that. Okay, let's go. Oh, yeah, I suppose so. Sure, why not? Oh, he has the exact same stuff as before. That's... Okay, I'll keep you in mind. Uh, that's if you want to go back, which I never do. So let's head on up here. And find a new enemy. Alright, Feather Circle. This is one of the guys I've really been looking for there. So, uh, first things first, let's uh, well, have Dagger or, well, Zidane steal something. Yeah, yeah, have Dagger steal something. I'm thinking of my recent Final Fantasy X run through where I actually gave Steel to Yuna there. Nah. Well, I did, but uh, anyway. Uh, let's see if I can get these guys just at about 16, or not 1600, 600. Uh, now that didn't quite work. Hmm. I need a way of dealing relatively little damage. Huh. Let's see, maybe two hits from Dagger would do the trick. They've got a little over 600 HP, so I've got to get them uh, somewhere over 500. So, yeah, yeah, that ought to do. A couple hits from Dagger there, that'll, that'll get them low enough for Kina to eat them. I don't know why these guys are called Feather Circle. They look like a manta ray or something. But anyway, okay, there we go. Come on, Dagger, don't kill it. Okay, okay, come on, Kina, eat it! On. Yes! There we go. Level 4 Holy. It's a decent spell, actually. If your enemy has a level multiple of 4, you'll cast Holy on them. Not quite as good as level 3 Flare in Final Fantasy V, but still pretty good. Pretty useful from time to time. So, you can scan the enemy to find out what its level is. And in order to cure trouble, you use an anointment there. So, yeah, we want to get rid of that, I guess. How are you doing? Whoa. What happened to my HP? Oh, right, they cast Demi on me. Nuts. Yeah, they cast Demi on my nuts. Now they're not as effective as they once were. Um, let's see. Uh, let's head over here first. Yeah, yeah, I think I want to... Or, do I want to go on this path first? Hang on a second, viewers. No, no, actually, that is the wrong way to go. Uh, I actually do want to hit this flip switch first, so let's do that. There we go. I was thinking of uh, something else. 
Always got to be careful. You'd figure this guy would get full sooner or later, you know? Eh. Well, it's a good thing we got Zidane hanging from him. How's Kina getting around with this? I don't know. But anyway, let's head on over here first. And grab this treasure! Lamia's tiara, new headgear. Uh, the odd thing about it is that only women can equip it, like that. But more odd than that, Kina can equip it too, for some reason. I don't know why. It's the only female, which I used to think that Kina was female because of that, but it's the only piece of female exclusive equipment that he can get, so I don't know. But that's why I consider Kina male, because he really can't equip most of the female exclusive equipment. Even though he has no gender. I'm still going to call him a he, because it's easier for me. Okay, so now we got to flip the switch and go on the other path then. By the way, those feather circles, uh, they are weak to thunder. Uh, I probably didn't get a chance to show that, or mention that before, but yeah. So if you run into a large group of them, like I did off screen at one point, um, you can actually just summon Ramu and wipe them all out because a multi-targeted Thundara won't even deal with them. I don't think. Well, Ramu's cooler anyway. So it's too bad they got rid of the old man. Now they got some weird Thunder summon guys or whatever to replace him. I don't know. But anyway, let's head on up here. Ah, there's a flip switch! Nice. Well, let's head on to the lower right here first. You don't have to go down here, but, well, it'll take me where I want to go first. Okay, after that battle, Kino finished uh, the Reflect Ring, so let's see. Let's give the Power Belt back to Zidane there. Give the Running Shoes back to Kina there. And give the Reflect Ring back to Dagger there, because those are all higher priorities. Holy cow, I got hit with trouble a lot. Trouble just comes to me, viewers. What, what can I do about it? And BB's done with everything. Even with all those extra accessories I got at the auction house. Uh, there we go. Haha! -ha! Yeah, you can't see it, but there's a secret Gargant there. Not that you can't get here otherwise without it, but... Well, there's another way you can go. So, there we are. Thanks for dropping me off here. And over here, we can find a secret treasure! Survival vest. Want to give that to Zidane first. I think I do. Let's see. It teaches Mug. Mug is not very useful in this game, unfortunately. But it does teach locomotion. So, that prevents stop. Mug allows you to steal and attack in the same turn. But it's not like a full attack. It's like an extremely weak attack. So, I wouldn't even worry about that. I mean, I'll learn it all the same, but, uh, hey, let's go. Doing some Minecraft around here? No. No, that's another game. Been watching my brother play that a lot lately. He seems to like it. Seems like a weird game. Not a big fan of sandbox games, but it does seem pretty cool. So anyway, you give him, I think he said a potion. We can do some digging around here and find some hidden treasure. Next time, and let's play Final Fantasy IX. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.